Hey, so if you're thinking about learning to code and attending a coding boot camp, one of the questions you might be asking is what exactly should you study? The front end, back end, or full stack web development that combines both the front end and back end into one? So in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this as someone who works as a full stack software engineer and teaches beginners how to code. My name is TJ and I'm a self-taught software engineer that helps beginners like yourself learn to code and prepare for the job search. Now, if you haven't already, support my channel by subscribing, liking this video, and commenting on this video to let me know what you think as you're watching it. I like to hear from people watching and I do my best to reply back to as many people as I can. Now, I mean, let's get into it, right? So I do not think it's a good idea to try and teach a beginner full stack web development because it's gonna be a lot of new information constantly and a lot of different technologies and that'll just make it hard for you to get a good understanding of any of the technologies that you're learning since you're not really spending that much time on them before you're moving on to learning something else. Now. I used to work part time as a teaching assistant for two really popular coding boot camps that taught full stack web development. And a lot of the students in that program felt overwhelmed with just the amount of information that was in those courses. And they didn't feel confident enough in their skills because they felt like they only had a surface level understanding of the technologies that they were learning. And this is important because this will make job searching a bit harder because you have a lot of technologies that you need to cover when you're studying and preparing to answer questions in the job interview process. And that can really impact your confidence going into the interview. And that's something that you really want to protect your confidence. So for me, I always urge beginners to learn front end web development first. And whether or not they learn it through my program doesn't really matter to me. Like, I just know I could never recommend someone to start off with full stack web development. Nah. Now, the average person will either get overwhelmed or struggle with confidence later on down the line because they don't feel like they understand any of the technologies that they learned enough to do well in the coding interview. And learning to code is a technical skill that you're learning and it is really hard to go from a complete beginner to just spending a few weeks covering a bunch of technologies and think that you'll get a good grasp of it all. That's just not how things work, okay? And I know a lot of coding boot camps are about two to four months long, uh, sometimes six months. And I just don't think that's enough time for the average person to cover all these different technologies that you need to learn when it comes to full stack web development and still feel confident in what you're learning. Especially if you miss a few days, you've basically fallen behind and you're now playing catch up the rest of the time in that, in that boot camp. So that's why my program is a self-paced program where I give my students 10 months to learn front end web development with me as their mentor. And another part of starting with the front end is that when you learn front end web development, you can teach yourself any back end that you want at your own pace since the back end is just another set of technologies that you're learning. And you can find a back end curriculum online too. Now, another really important thing that you have to consider is all companies use the same technologies on the front end HTML, CSS, JavaScript, some kind of CSS library or framework like Bootstrap and React.js. That's it, right? Like that's what the majority of companies use on the front end. So if you start your coding journey by learning front end web development, you'll be able to apply to pretty much almost to most front end roles at most companies. The back end though, like that's a whole nother story because different companies use different technologies on the back end based on a problem that they're solving for. Right, like a lot of banks, hedge funds, and just financial institutions in general mostly use Python a lot on the back end because Python is good for data analytics and just doing calculations in general. While other companies, some will use Node.js on the back end, other companies use Java, C Sharp, C, etc. 
the possibilities are literally endless when it comes to the back end. And I'm a full stack software engineer that specializes in back end web development. And even the company I work for, we use Ruby on Rails on the back end, which is completely different from all the technologies I just mentioned. So if you start your coding journey by learning the back end web development first, you'll be learning a very specific set of technologies based on the boot camp that you go to and you'll only be able to apply to work at companies that use those technologies that your boot camp taught you which is not a bad thing it's just something that you have to be aware of when trying to decide what to learn because for me right like i'm perfectly fine doing ruby on rails work and i only apply to work at companies that use ruby on rails right like that's it i don't mind it like i'm cool with that <laughs> And also keep in mind, the main skill that you're learning when you're learning how to code is you're learning how to learn and how to learn quickly in order to apply what you've learned to build software solutions. Now, all of what I said is just what I've seen in terms of the average student. The students I see that do the best in full stack web development programs typically have a computer science background or a background in math uh, accounting, engineering, or just some strong technical academic background so that they have really good problem solving skills already and better than average study skills. But look, only you know you best, right? Like I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know you, um, but I really hope that this video has been really helpful in helping you understand just all the different paths that you can take when it comes to moving forward in your coding journey. So if you find this video helpful, comment down below to let me know what you thought. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.